In our last chapter, we're going to cover best practices, limitations, common mistakes, and how to fix them. I'll also be sharing some useful apps as well as some helpful resources to end our session. Let's get started with best practices. First and foremost, to show a unit in the formula column for an item, you can do this by using the group summary. Additionally, if you are looking to show a unit on the sub item level in the formula column, this can be used with the and symbol as well as the unit. So we can see that right here. And then finally, to show a summary for the entire board, you can enable a feature called board footers, which is available in Monday Labs, and I'm going to show you in just a moment. So just a quick recap of those three points that I shared. When it comes to adding a unit, let's collapse my sub items for just a moment. If it's a unit on either the formula level or the um, numbers column, you can simply click into the group summary or the column summary, and then assign both the unit as well as the function. When it comes to the sub items, we don't have the ability to select from a group summary or a column summary. So what you do need to do is go ahead and you need to add the um, unit in quotation marks and then the add symbol. So we have that as the first example. The other example is right here. If it's in hours and you want that unit to show after your numerical data. And then the last tip is to enable board footers if you're looking for a board summary. So let's go ahead and show you what I mean by that. If you click and navigate to your avatar at the bottom left of your screen, Monday Labs, you'll find that there is an option called board footers. So you can just search for that right here. I already do have it activated. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to show an aggregation of the entire board. So if I go ahead and I scroll to the bottom of my board, I'm just going to coll collapse all of my groups. You're going to see that you do have now this section that's been enabled on your account called my board summary. And this is going to calculate um, the sum of all of the different numbers and formula columns that I have added. Next up, we have formula column limitations. First and foremost, cross item formulas only work horizontally at this time. Next, we have the limitation regarding column summary. At this time, the group column summaries cannot yet be used in a formula. We also do not yet have the ability to use or map out automations when referring to the formula column. So for example, if you're hoping to change a status column based on the output of a formula that's not yet supported. And then finally, mirror columns. At this time, um, the mirror columns read formulas as text and not their original structure. So you may end up running into some errors there. I'm going to show you my Monday account to talk about these specific limitations in context. So first, as mentioned, it's not yet possible to compare or pull from cross items. So if I were wanting to pull from here, 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 etc., cetera, um, that's not yet possible. The formulas only work horizontally. It's also not yet possible to um, pull from a group summary of a numbers column or it, another formula column just yet. Um, so that's something to also keep in mind. And then as mentioned, if you wanna set up a formula that is going to then tell an automation to change the status of a task or item, that's not yet possible. And then finally, with mirror columns, um, the there are limitations when using formulas. Um, the formulas will read them as text and not their original structure. And so more often than not, those, um, those formulas will not produce or output the, the values that you're looking for and you'll probably run into some errors. So for example, if I were to go back 
to my sub items of my welcome video and I wanted to mirror or roll up the billable hours to the parent item. I would do this by clicking on the three dots, settings, and then show summary on parent item. You'll notice that I'm now going to see on this rolled up summary zero. This is because this is showing because the formula does not yet read that um, text where I have that unit assigned. So this specifically right here is not going to show as expected. If I do remove the dollar sign and the and and set the formula and then go back to that rolled up or mirrored value from the sub item level, you'll see that it now will output the sum of the um, billable hours as expected. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Next up, we have common errors and how to fix them. I've certainly been in a place where I've asked myself, why isn't my formula working when I've encountered a red explanation point as my output in my formula column? Um, and it's likely that I'll continue to encounter that and you may also encounter it on your side. Not to fret, this is this does happen frequently, um, which is why we wanted to outline some tips and tricks when it comes to how to approach, how to fix or solve for the errors that you encounter. First, we do have the um, tip on checking to see whether or not you have too many or too little parentheses, commas, quotation marks, or brackets. So punctuation is really important to keep in mind when mapping out those formulas. We always recommend checking for missing or extra parentheses, commas, quotation marks, and brackets to help solve for some of those errors that you may encounter. Next up, if you are copying and pasting um, formulas from another source into your formula builder. It's a it's actually a known um, error where sometimes the quotation marks are different in terms of the format. So right here you can see that um, this one's a little bit more curved and then this one is straight. So oftentimes if you are copying text from outside of a um, code, code format or Monday formula that already exists, you may actually be adding this type of quotation mark. And so you can simply just correct it by replacing it with um, new quotation marks so that it can be read by our formula builder. The next tip is um, sometimes you may accidentally add more than one column with the same title that's being referenced in a formula. So you want to definitely be careful of that uh, because the formula builder will not actually be able to tell the difference between the two. So you do want to confirm that there are no columns with the exact same name in the title. And then finally, um, formula does not follow the correct syntax, meaning you really do want to make sure that you're following the syntax in the formula summary, um, just to make sure that it is aligned so that um, you go ahead and um, are able to actually output those the, the results that you are looking for. Next, I'd like to talk about some useful apps when it comes to the formula column. If you haven't heard, monday.com does have an apps marketplace where you can power up your workflows with third-party apps, extending the functionality of the platform even further. These are the two apps that I will be highlighting today. One is called General Caster, which includes formulas and automations. And the second app is called VLOOKUP AUTO LINK, which will search values between multiple boards and automatically create links. So to show you in context, I am going to jump over to my monday.com account to actually access the apps marketplace. If you navigate to your avatar at the bottom left of your screen, you'll be able to access the apps marketplace from here. As mentioned, we're going to search specifically for a general caster and V lookup auto link. This is the first app that I'd like to share with you, which does allow for the inclusion of automation recipes when you are calculating formulas. 
I definitely encourage you to take a look at the different slides that are included, um, as well as the different descriptions. Some of these apps do also come with additional pricing structures, so that's something to consider when you are downloading apps from our apps marketplace. The other app that I mentioned was VLOOKUP auto link right here. Um, and this app, as mentioned, is going to help with actually searching values between multiple boards and then create automatic links and match those items. So um, this is something that you may, may have come across in Excel. Um, this may be something that's a bit more advanced, but for some of you who may be interested in this, this is just another app to consider. One other point that I do want to make is when you are downloading any apps from the apps marketplace, you do need to be an admin of the account to add it. And um, that's something just to consider in terms of who is going to have accessibility. Finally, I would like to share some helpful resources when it comes to using the formula column and monday.com. So I do certainly hope that these will come in handy as you become more comfortable with the column itself. We do have a really helpful guide in terms of getting started and how to set up the formula column. This one right here, formula use cases, can be really helpful for considering different types of formulas that will meet certain needs and use cases. We also have a list of all of our available formulas. Um, we have a dedicated guide on specifically conditional formulas and using the if statement to build those conditions. And then finally, we do have our community page. If you search for formula specifically, you'll be able to see that we have quite a few threads with regards to building formulas. And we have an awesome community base that is really enthusiastic about helping one another when tackling complex formulas.